Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure and a great honor for me to contribute in this project of the Design for All Institute of India um, to talk about a universal design, especially to encourage young people to share more interest to this very interesting area of design in the future. Um, I think universal design is one of the major challenges for the future development of design because we have uh, lots of demographic changes in all over the world. We have uh, the aging societies on one side, but on the other side we have to care also uh, on younger people in our societies. We don't have only problems with the elder people, but we have also many, many problems with not so well educated younger people in, in many, many societies in the world. And I think design has to take care on this development and has to develop together with industries solutions to integrate people much better in our daily life than it is today the case. Um, I think universal design is especially applicated uh, in the area where we work with products of our daily use. Uh, for example, there are several other areas where universal design does not make so much sense. For example, if we create uh, things for luxury or for, uh, you know, for jewelries and, and things like this, then universal design is uh, probably not so much necessary as it is when we talk about our products of the daily use in our daily life, in the kitchen, in our workshop, in the communications of daily life and so on. And uh, from this point of view, we could say that uh, universal design is always good design and on the other hand, good design products should be always have an implication of universal design. I can give you an example. Uh, this iPhone, for example, is a piece of real universal design for me because it can be used by everybody. It is no problem to use for older people, for example. If I look at the calculator here, you can see that uh, this calculator is easy to handle for everybody. And the product is a fashionable, it's a, it's a very fresh young product and it does not stick in when it is uh, the, the older people. So if we can reach a level of design quality like uh, this iPhone, then I think we have uh, made a big step into the future of uh, universal design. Uh, good design has four factors of quality. First, the quality of the function. So a product should be very well in function and then the second quality factor is the quality of seduction. You know, products that are good in function and uh, do not look very nice uh, are not loved by us. So we are not inspired by products that are not really seducive to us. So I think a product should always be uh, uh, beauty enough that it attracts our attention. And then we have a third uh, quality of a good product design is the quality of use or usability. And I think we should focus a little bit on this point because for universal design it becomes very, very important. Uh, good universal design is at its best in the area of usability. Now, everybody should make good use of, of the product and so designers should focus very much on the user interfaces, on the surfaces of products, uh, on the handles, if we have some handles and products that they are uh, easy to, to, uh, to work with. And uh, so usability is a very good indicator for the quality of design at its best and especially universal design. The fourth quality at least, last but not least, is uh, the quality of responsibility. Responsibility not just uh, 
to our environment. No, it's also a question of social responsibility. I mean, uh, we can develop products that are very unsocial to others if we make use out of it. And uh, to show some respect to people who are not using this product in the moment is very important as well. So our responsibility means that we are responsible enough that everybody can make a use out of a product, for example. Um, I like to really encourage young designers, young people, to think about the four qualities of good design, function, seduction, use, and responsibility, and take this in the calculation of their work for the future. Uh, if designers show respect to these four points, whenever they start to design a new product, I think the outcome will always be a very good product and not just good design but universal design. So I wish you a lot of fun with the future of design and I hope that you will contribute with your products to the better quality of life. Thank you very much for your attention.